everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Kirby's Adventure. It's time to take on the rest of level 5. I almost said stage 5 there for a second. And we're going to start with stage 4. There's the arena over there, and we're going to unlock that in stage 4 when we find a switch. And thankfully, finding the switch isn't all that hard to do. First off, we're going to use Fireball to get through this section here. There is a 1-up that I want to get, and I want to see if I can get it as intended. I think Fireball may have something to do with getting the 1-up. Yes, it is. So you do have to use that. You can kind of use your flying ability to get it, but it's going to be pretty hard if you do. Next up, we have all these guys being sent out by the man in the mask again. And we got some major slowdown going on here. You know what? I didn't want that ability anyway. Let's go ahead and get all these guys the old-fashioned way. Why not? That guy rushed, rushed straight at me for no reason. Duck down right there at the last second to avoid getting hit. And now we are out here. I want to stay away from the ball guy. We're not going to need him. And we're looking for a door in the waterfall. So I'm just going to do a bunch of flying around here. And just wait until I approach it. Because I'm already at half health. And I don't feel like losing any more. And there it is. Wait for this guy to get close, get rid of him. And then go into the door. Now we have two doors. There's the high one and the low one. You want to go into the low one first. As for that one up, just use your inhale ability. And you'll be able to grab it just like that, through the wall. Lower door contains a switch. This opens up the arena. I won't show it off yet. Because we're going to need it for something. So we will be going there eventually, just not now. For now, we need to go up to the upper door. So we can continue with the rest of the level, which thankfully isn't long. And just stay at the very right hand side of the waterfall and just drop down. Don't press any buttons if you run into any enemies. While Kirby is face down like this, he will automatically destroy them. And I pressed it too late. Oh well. I had a good stroke of luck in the practice run for the second half of level 5 because I was able to get quite a few 1-ups. But anyways, now time for stage 5, which has the hardest switch to get yet. All of the regular stages in this video will have switches, and I can't believe I ran into that. For this one... One, we need to stop getting hit for no reason, and two, we need to find a door. There are two doors in the lower half of this section. This is the one we want to go into. Now, okay. We got a fire guy and a high jump guy. What we need to do is get the fire guy, face the fuse, use the ability by swallowing it, then quickly ditch it, Inhale the high jump guy, get the high jump ability, and then make our way to the cannon as quickly as possible. And of course, hold down once we get in. So let's try it now. Ah, I messed it up. Hold on. I should have faced the fuse, like I said I was going to. Wow! <laughs> and I accidentally just got both of those at the same time. Let's try again. That was pretty suave, though. Not exactly the way I wanted to do it, but it'll work. Got in there just in time. That will unlock the quick draw game. And give me full health. We are now back to here, so we need to make our way to the lower right-hand corner of this section. And I was going to try to get that guy's ability, but, well, that's not going to happen, obviously. Just dash here. 
And thankfully, there is a maximum tomato right there below the door. Now, we'll be able to take this warp star through the background here, which is really fun to see. Believe it or not. And we'll now go into this castle. Now, believe it or not, we do have a new mini boss to deal with. And there are also some spike stairs. You don't want to fly too high. You definitely don't want that lion mini boss to hit you with the fireball attack or grab you with that dive. Because if he grabs you with that dive, he does a little bit of damage. He actually gnaws at you and you won't be able to get the star. And he also has an attack where he jumps at you and then does a, f does a few claw swipes. But if you swallow him, you get the fireball ability. Which I'm probably going to use to finish the last of this level off with. Maybe. You know what? No. We're going to use laser instead. Use it to finish off all of these guys. He's going to come down eventually. That guy on the right is going to come down eventually, too. Go ahead and get this guy when he shows up. Get the Fargall guy, too. And did I press it? Yeah, I pressed it at just the right time. Awesome. Very good. So we got another one-up that I did not expect to get. And now it's time for stage six. Eh, I'll save the quick time. Not, not quick time, but quick draw for the end of this. For now, I'm going to go into the arena and face Bonkers. Same strategy to apply. If I can hit him. Which would be nice. Which would be a great thing to do. Because I want his ability for what we're going to do next. There we go. Get the hammer ability. Get the slide ability. Wow, he does a different slide animation when he holds a hammer. Well, that's something. Anyway, let's go to stage six. This is a very short level, only three sections. For this first one, you want to avoid all these wheelies. You definitely don't want any of these guys running into you like this. If you lose your hammer ability at any point, you definitely want to get it back, too. Had to concentrate right there. I didn't know if I was going to get hit at any point or not. Now, for the second part, you want to hit this bomb block and run for it. Are you kidding me, game? <sighs> Great, and the hammer is the only way I'm going to be able to do this. Well, at least you can walk. But how am I going to get Hammer now? I'm going to have to go all the way through the stage and get the Hammer ability back. That was really, really terrible. The fact that this stage does not supply you with the Hammer ability at any time is just really, really annoying. This is where you're supposed to use the Hammer ability. I'm going to have to go skip it and go straight to the end of the stage and then try this all over again. And I pressed it too late. Or too early, I can't tell. I was too busy being angry with the game for doing that to me. So now I'm going to go back here and get this again. Well, at least I managed to get that, those two hits on him. All right, get the maximum tomato, get the hammer again. This shouldn't be so hard. I did this perfectly in the practice run here. If I have to go through this part as slowly as possible, so be it. Also, there's a maximum tomato here in case you need one. Might as well go ahead and show that off.
and just go through this whole part slowly. There we go. All right, let's do this without, you know, screwing this up so badly this time. I'm gonna take it slow here. You know what? Okay, there we go. At least you can walk over the gaps. That's a good thing. But now we have the third section to go through. Thankfully, all we need to do is just try not to run into that guy and just keep flying very slowly. Also, there were three Waddle Dees in there instead of two. Don't know why that is. But now we can go through this door and actually do something. We can use Hammer Underwater, much like Sword. Matter of fact, it's the only way to break those green blocks as well as the star blocks underneath. This lets us hit the switch and get the 1-up in addition to the Max and Tomato, which you would have gotten if you went through the door on the right instead of breaking through to the center. So now we're over here, where the right door is. So all we need to do now is just go back. And then we can just fly through here and exit the stage. And I probably pressed it too soon. Definitely pressed it too soon. Got 32 lives though. That's alright. Might as well go ahead and see if I can get another extra life. We know how this goes now. Oh, that was terrible. 20? Really? Uh, I am not going to get a 1-up at this rate. I knew I wasn't going to get it. Five thousand points and I'm not gonna really going to be able to do anything with. And here is the boss, if I can get into the door. Now for this boss, I'm going to be using the hammer. You can fight this guy without an ability, but it's going to be really, really long in the tooth to deal with. You have to stay away from this guy as he punches through the wall. Whenever those two doors open up in the back, that boss is going to send out a projectile. And sometimes that will happen. So you have to pay attention to your surroundings so that way you don't get crushed by the ceiling or fall through a pit that the game suddenly makes. So going through this part, through this boss, going through this entire boss battle can be really nuts, especially when the boss goes left of center and gives you almost no room to really move around with. And if you don't have an ability that you can use against this boss, this battle can take a while. It can be that bad. I'm expecting him to go up at any minute now. Ah, I can't believe I hit that. Okay. Let's run over there, get a shot in, and we're almost done here now. Now, if this guy could just give me some room to move, that'd be great. And I'm definitely not going to be able to get that projectile. And I definitely want to stay close so that way I don't get crushed by a ceiling that, th that the game decides to make. See if we can do this now. Good. Managed to beat this guy without an ability. Totally lost patience during the practice run trying to do that, and now I finally get my revenge on this thing. 
probably one of the harder bosses to deal with in the game. But once you get past him, you go to Orange Ocean, complete with orange backgrounds. And this is going to be quite the level. We are getting really close to the end of the game now. And we'll start off level 6 in the next video. So join me next time where I take on the first three stages of Orange Ocean. Until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!